favourite authorised speed in the green and white stripes just following Colonel Harry and they're off, two miles the journey, eight flights of hurdles and Colonel Harry into an early lead, Tamura's down the centre, Yukan Tango on the near side in the black sleeves, authorised speed, far side, green and white stripes, orange cap, then Arctic Brazil to the outside of Nemean Lion, and followed by Blow Your Wad, and finally Lastro Boy at flight number one, Colonel Harry just running down it slightly left-handed, the leader, by a little bit more than a length, to Yukan Tango and Tamuras and Authorised Speed. Namian Lion tucked in behind them with Arctic Brazil in the hands of Rachel Blackmore as they jump the second. And over that one at the back, Blow Your Wad and Lastro Boy. Uphill and about to pass the winning post with a circuit to go. And it's Colonel Harry, the course and distance winner, Gavin Sheehan on this leader. From Yukon Tango on the outside of Authorised Speed. Namian Lion in fourth place just from Tamuras. And then on the inside, Lastro Boy, the inside of Blow Your Wad, and Arctic Brazil on the outside. Swinging right handed. And on this run down the hill, Colonel Harry just opening up a little bit, goes three, four lengths clear of Yukon Tango on the outside of Authorised Speed the quite short prize favourite to win this Grade 1 prize. Back in fourth is Nemean Lion on the inside of Tamuras and Harry Cobden. And then uh, follows Lastro Boy, Blow Your Wad held up, along with Arctic Brazil at the tail of the field now. Into the back straight, and Colonel Harry galloping on strongly in the lead from Authorised Speed and Yukan Tango as they move on towards the next. First of four down the back, Colonel Harry again slightly left-handed there towards Yukan Tango on his outside. Authorised speed, Namian Lion close up. On to the next. And over this one, particularly good jump from Tamuras there towards the outside, taking slightly closer order. Halfway down the back straight, Colonel Harry still with this three-length advantage over Authorised speed and you can tango. Namian Lion, Tamuras, the others well grouped up. Blow your ward. Lastro Boy, Arctic Brazil. Still just the back mark under Rachel Blackmore. Is just beginning to ask Arctic Brazil a little bit of a question as they run towards the last flight in the back straight. Colonel Harry is going to jump this one left handed again but still leads the way you can tango tamuras has made progress on the inside authorized speed nemean lion is right there blow your wad is not far behind lastro boy it's just arctic brazil is the only one that's really showing signs of struggling a little bit at this stage as they swing right handed and on their way, a long run to the second last. Colonel Harry has made all the running so far. Tracked through by authorised speed. And you can tango. Tarmuras is on the outside. Then the Mian Lion. Astro Boy on the inside. They've all got chances. Uh, followed by Blow Your Wad now being pushed along. And Arctic Brazil down the home run. And it's Colonel Harry. But Tamuras really catching the eye on the outside under a motionless Harry Cobden. Followed by Lastro Boy. You can tango. Nemean Lion. And authorised speed who's now in trouble. On towards the second last. Colonel Harry still yet to be headed. Tracked by Tamuras. Namian Lion coming with a run down the outside of Lastro Boy over two out. Colonel Al Tamuras made a pretty awkward jump there, but it hasn't really stopped his momentum. And he's back on the bridle. Heading towards the final flight. Colonel Harry from Tamuras. Namian Lion is running on gamely on the right. Then Lastro Boy. Now Harry Cobden shakes up the leader. Here's the final flight. Fight Tamuras, he only got halfway up. Namian Lion is the challenger on the near side. Lastro Boy sticking on. Tamuras is running around in front, organized now by Harry Cobden. He travels so well, he's drifting across to the left, close to the finish, but he'll hold on to win the Tollworth. In second, Lastro Boy, Namian Lion third, and the longtime leader, Colonel Harry, back in fourth. Tamuras wins the Grade 1 Tolworth Hurdle. It's another Grade 1 success for Harry Cobden after Brave Man's Game in the King George and then MS Allen in the Chalo Hurdle. And it'll be the depth of young talent that'll be exciting them. Going to have a quick word with him. We'll just call you Grade 1 Harry now. It's going well. Be fortunate to ride some good ones in the last fortnight, but um, he's a nice horse. He travelled a little bit behind the bridle, but he's got loads left, you know.
I was amazed when I saw the others down, like Jamie Moore and um, a couple of other fancy ones come off the bridle so soon, and I was absolutely canting all over him. But he's good. He's, he's a nice horse. Yeah, I said as they cross the line, looks a real work in progress, but he's already a grade one winner. Yeah. Um, and the only time he's ever got beat was in a bump around Foss last, and we only thought he was okay. And I say Adam Wedge outrode me that day. Um, so he's no, he's um, he's a nice horse, and he's going to progress. And I don't know what they'll do with him later on in the season, but. Um, Whatever he does now, he'll be in much better chase the next year anyway. Yeah, and he's, he's a horse who has gone well on better ground. Do you think he wants it soft, or do you think he'd be better back on a better set? Um, he was struggling down the back a little bit, but it was pretty, very sticky, sort of dead, soft ground down there. And um, good horses get away with it, don't they? They go through it, and he's done exactly that. This lad today, MS Allen last week, the depth of young talent at Ditchard is clearly significant. Is there more to come out of that as well? Yeah, we haven't, hopefully we haven't seen the best of them anyway. There's, there's a lot of nice... Um, Young point to point is coming through, and must be 20 stores there that um, Paul and Tom alone bought this summer, and uh, a few horses from France. And Paul's, Paul's got his foot in the gas anyway. And just finally, Harry, if this horse did line up in something like a Supreme Novices Hurdle, do you think he'd be streetwise enough and classy enough at least to at least to be in their pitch? Yeah, definitely. He's, I mean, I'd be disappointed if he didn't finish in the first four anyway. I mean, he'd be well. He's clearly one of the best two mile hurdlers novice hurdlers in this country it's just whether we're, we're good enough to take on the Irish ones aren't they but we don't know do we how, how good we are I mean a couple of Irish horses came over last week and Hermes Allen beat them and this lad beat another Irish horse today so it's uh, you, you don't know until you turn up do you well done cheers well one of the syndicate members here at Sandown Park just tried to start a chorus of there's only one Noel Feely it didn't quite take off, but you can see why, because the Syndicate's had an amazing day. A double with the Cheltenham Festival winning Love Envoy and the grade one winner now of the Tolworth Hurdle, Tom Muris. Noel, this is the stuff dreams are made of. When you started these Syndicates, could you imagine a day like this within a couple of years? Oh, look, to come across horses like this, is, yeah, we wanted to start out and find horses like this, but that doesn't mean you're going to find them. Um, and races like this, they're not easy to win. And it, the Tolworth has never won by a bad horse, so... Um, Look, he's just improving and improving, and I think he's pretty good. A couple of years ago, we were saying, you just can't get the good raw material into the UK. You've managed to do it. How have you managed to do it? We got a bit lucky, I suppose. Uh, ah, come on, none of us believe that. We found, we found a couple of nice horses, and um, look, to win races like this is massive. I, I was lucky enough to win it once when I was riding, and this, probably, this fella probably wouldn't be too dissimilar to Somerville by when he jumps a lot better than him. Um, and he went on to win the Supreme, and I don't think there's a lot, lot, lot between us. He stayed a lot further than two miles. I think this fellow will, will stay two and a half, absolutely no problem. Uh, but he's got a bit of class that can travel over two as well, so I think he's pretty good. When you first saw him, what did, what did you think of him? What did you like about him? Uh, I can still picture the f me walking towards me at the sales, and I thought I'd love to bring him home. And to be honest, I didn't think we'd be able to afford him, but we did. And um, myself and David went down and bought him, so... Glad we bought him. Bet you're glad you bought him. Harry Cobden said he'd be disappointed if he didn't at least figure in a Supreme Novice, at least if he didn't finish in the in the first four. It, it, that strikes me that you you feel the same. I think on the, on the back of today's performance, I think you'd have to think he goes there with a with a seriously good chance. Obviously, there's some seriously good horses in Ireland and and over here as well. But I think he goes. He, he deserves his chance, and I don't think he'll be disgraced in the race. And you feel that's the way you would go. You wouldn't go up to two and a half. Uh, he'll be left in both races. Um, we could easily go up to two and a half as the ground dried out. But um, look, we leave him in both races, and Paul Nichols will decide near the time. And the winner earlier today, Love Envoy, she was she was brilliant today. She really tanked to the front and beat a good yardstick in Martello Sky. Johnny Burke saying she'd improved from her last run. H how high do you think she could go now? She just keeps on surprising us. I was worried today um, when she's such a sharp price going into today, you just fear something's going to go wrong and she's kind of expected to win. But um, it was easy to watch from, from halfway when she jumped into the bridle and she was away. She just seems to be getting more and more professional, um, settling better, jumping better. Look, she's just an unbelievable mare and who knows where she'll take us next. When you started these syndicates, <laughs> what were you thinking? What was the plan? Thought we'd, myself and David spoke about it, and we thought we'd start with Dave a, Cross. David Cross, yeah. We thought we'd start with a couple of horses and have a bit of fun, uh, try and bring a few people into the game, um, get, give them a toe on the water, and it's just snowballed from there. And we've a lot more horses than I thought we would have, but it's great to get. There's a lot of people involved in these horses and Love Envoy that never, never owned a racehorse before, 
and they're getting a toe in the water and that's that's the case in a lot of our syndicates and so how, how many would you have in these two today? 10 10 people in in every horse we have 10 shares and uh it just gives everyone a nice toe in the water into racing and um look they're having a great great time with these two horses anyway carry on like this I, I don't know there'd be no stopping you know congratulations thank you very much nick Cheers. watch live racing now on racingtv.com